Hey everyone, just wanted to fill you in a little bit on our campfire rant that we had out in Moab. We lost a little bit of the audio, so that's why I'm here right now. We've been going off-roading with some of our newer units, like the Paws, but they do require a full-size truck because they just weigh more, you know? It's a, it's a big trailer. Normally, I'm in my Jeep, and I love my Jeep. It's just an awesome truck, very capable. I've done a lot of little upgrades on it as well, so I wouldn't have it any other way. But also, one of the things I've always kind of been maybe against is like going for a full-size truck because I just feel that my Jeep is more capable, which it is, for sure. The Jeeps are one of the most capable off-road vehicles, usually out of the box, and then you upgrade them, they're even more capable. So I've been very against using a full-size truck. But since we've been doing a lot of off-roading with these bigger trailers, and I've had to use a full-size truck, I've come to a slight realization that a full-size truck can be very capable as well. And so that, that, that's really just kind of what we continue to talk about in this, and we're gonna jump over to that. So as far as like, approach and departures like jeeps you can't compete with most jeeps i mean like i and not to offend anybody that is like a pure enthusiast with a land rover or a toyota but unless you crazy modify those vehicles right out of the box nothing beats a jeep like let's just be real yeah their departure angle too is way up there too as well all of their numbers are very high they're typically the best i mean i know like i know these new broncos and they're they're trying to compete with all of those angles but like they're barely competing but jeeps right out of the box for the most part still beat them and then if you just go and throw on a new set of tires it just destroys them everybody thinks when i want to go off-roading you know you need something like a good off-roading vehicle and i don't i this is not a jeep rant by the way no. and i'm not a hardcore jeep person michael yeah, likes michael and likes yeah and that, that's the whole point is kind of the the past you know few weeks for example these pauses i can't pull it with my jeep because it's it's too heavy <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway so it's like oh, okay bummer well i guess we'll use it i have to use something else so i've been using a 2500 ram diesel truck pulling it and we're going and hitting these trails that are like they're hard they're difficult and they would challenge a stock jeep and we're doing them and we're doing them with trailers okay but, but let's be real i did a black bear pass which is an iconic yeah. jeep trail in, in uh, colorado with what <laughs> with your ram 2500 with my ram 2500 yeah. i will tell you I would never recommend anybody do that. That was sketchy. It definitely and involved having a good spotter because you couldn't, you couldn't see. You no, 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 no. Yeah, that's bonnet. that's the issue. In England, they call it the bonnet, which is the hood. The nice thing about a Jeep is the hood is so small, and your fenders are in, and, the doors and you can also the doors are thin, the, so you can hang out and see everything. Uh, a big truck does require a a skilled spotter. I would say a skilled a driver. Things. A lot of faith. Because I'm just like, uh, I'm just going. <laughs> I'm just going. There's a, there's a <laughs> I hood. I think the trail was right there. Yeah, but nowadays, like, n the new trucks have, like, cameras. Yeah. They have undercarriage cameras. They have front cameras. Uh, you can install them aftermarket. Now, once again, I would say the stuff that we're doing with these trailers, I would not recommend anybody do. Like, absolutely not. It's ridiculous. And honestly, it, I know the video guys make it look like we're out having this great fun time. It's <laughs> exhausting. Like, at the end of the day, you're like, what are we doing? This is so ridiculous. Like, it takes us 30 minutes sometimes to climb over one single obstacle. And if you had a vehicle, like a Razor, you'd do it in one second. A uh, Jeep, yeah. you'd do it in 30 seconds. And we're here for 30 minutes with a truck and a trailer. So this isn't something you want to do. Like when you unhook the trailer, you take the trucks. These trucks are very capable. And I think you can go almost almost anywhere you can with a Jeep. Yeah, you're getting there. It just obviously depends on what it is. But I think like your truck, well, I mean, we were hitting some level five obstacles in your truck you can probably get to six and probably seven yeah on a you know, jeep yeah trail. maybe when you get to the eights and the nines that's when you yeah okay maybe the eights and nines jeeps don't even do very well you have to be super modified it's a lot of it's a lot of work no stock jeeps are doing them yeah no stock jeeps aren't going to do any nine. You, you need winches and you yeah. need big giant tires and sevens or forties yeah yeah so that, that that's that's crazy but i think the point of this fire campfire rant is i think people believe that a, a large truck, like a 1500 or 2500, will really limit them on where they can go off-roading. And that's just not true. I think you can go, all the places that you're actually going to want to go, 
for the most part you can go there with a large truck you have to be careful and you have to be you have to get skilled and it's good to have a spotter it's harder to make tight maneuvers but i go crazy places with this 2500 yeah i've gone almost everywhere most people will go with their jeep and places that people probably never will go with their jeep i've gone right you know so never a lot i mean there's always extreme cases that yes that doesn't apply because the jeep will make it somewhere more extreme to what we've experienced where if you're talking about an off-road trailer and where you'd take the trailer you don't have to have the top extreme jeep you know to do that with a 1500 2500 you're going to go everywhere you're ever going to want to go camping with a trailer that's off -road. we were sitting down here and we said we should do a campfire ramp because michael got talking about saying you know i've always just thought like these bigger trucks weren't as capable and they would really hold me back and that's why i've always had a jeep but i just feel like i've changed my perspective and i i think these big trucks can get to places way more than most people think and they can even take the trailers way more places than most people think and so that's the campfire rant we wanted to talk about today is just that i i think these trucks are way more capable the biggest things that i would say is having the right size rims bigger tires that you can air down for a comfortable ride yeah and then also in an lift. ideal world, you get a, a suspension system, right? Yeah, that would make it really nice. But you get a lift, you get the right tires and rims. And then if you are planning to do stuff with trailers, getting airbags on, there's a great idea. And then lockers are always helpful just because you get loose stuff like this and you're pulling something almost as heavy as you are, you need the extra traction. Yeah, you do, you do. This truck does not have the proper rims or the proper tires, in my opinion, and it, and it no doesn't have lockers, either. right? But we've still gone down some crazy yeah. stuff without any issues. Mm -hmm. So you could take a stock truck like this and still make it to some, well, and it's not stock, he's lifted. And, and he does have better tires, but not ideal. So there you have it. I think that's our campfire rant is these trucks can actually get you to more places than most people will go and you don't have to have a jeep if you want one of these bigger trailers you're going to need a big truck if you want one of these big trailers and you can go out and still adventure and go to places that other people can't with this setup i definitely recommend you go with somebody though buddy system is always a good thing yes. unless you know the trails very well ahead of time yeah so well thank you so much for watching i think this might be one of our first team campfire rants yeah but we have tons of campfire rants and i go over topics such as living in RVs or the RV industry as a whole or just other various things. And we also are doing the live community campfire rants, which we did yesterday. We actually did it together because we were out camping together. Normally I'm just doing those, but those are on the Thursday of every first Thursday of the month at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So it's a uh, great time to be able to ask questions too and get answers live. Yeah, exactly. And I, I appreciate you community being community there. Too. Yeah, exactly. So thank you so for watching. Go check out the playlist of our campfire rants and if they bring value to you, share them with somebody and thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see you on an adventure or talk to you on the next uh, campfire live rant, community rant. Talk to you later. Bye.